So I was looking on my Etsy account and I realized that I've been on there selling since 2014 for 10 years. And then I started thinking about how long I've been doing art fairs for and it's also been 10 years. So I thought I would do this video today and share with you all the things that I've learned about the two different ways of selling art because they are vastly different. There are positives and negatives to both. First off are the barriers to entry. The thing is Etsy is a very cheap to get into. All you have to do is have a computer, some artwork, be able to take photographs of it, and then you upload them to your Etsy shop. It costs 20 cents a listing, and every three months you have to pay 20 cents to renew those listings, but that's it. I mean, it's very simple. You can find tutorials all over YouTube that tell you exactly how to set up your Etsy shop and to configure your SEO and all of those things to be able to get your listing seen. So it's very easy to get into. Art fairs, on the other hand, are a lot more difficult because they're there are so many skills that a person has to have. You have to be able to set up your art fair booth, be able to talk to people about your art, process credit cards, run the whole business side of it. You have to get an art fair booth. The minimum you'll pay is $500 for a very cheap art fair booth setup. But on the upper end, like my booth that I have, I have two separate art fair booths, one for outdoor and one for indoor. They cost about $5,000. And so it is very expensive. You also have to have a van to haul your stuff. You have to be in good physical condition to be able to handle doing the art fairs because you are standing and on your feet for 10 to 12 hours a day during the shows. You have to set up all of the art fair tents and everything. I personally have a disability so I can't lift anything over five pounds so I have to pay somebody to go with me to the events to set up all of my stuff and to help me take the paintings down off the walls when I sell them. I have to buy hotels, food, all of this stuff is extra costs. So there's a lot of money that goes into doing an art fair and starting up the art fair business. But I would like to emphasize here that Etsy has its downsides as well. When I first started Etsy 10 years ago, it was so easy to grow an Etsy shop. All you had to do was upload your products, put some ads on there, which I paid around $50 a month, and I was getting like $500 a month worth of sales off of the $50 a month ads. It was amazing. I mean, I could just grow my shop super easy, basically just just turn on the spigot of the ads on the Etsy ads platform and voila, I had sales. And then after a while I was able to turn off the ads and I started having sales just naturally because the algorithm was giving me views and it was showing people my art. But that was 10 years ago. Now Etsy has changed so much. Ever since the pandemic, really, there were so many new people starting to sell on Etsy that there is so much competition. And now with AI art, people are just generating massive amounts of images using AI and then having companies like Printful put them on mugs and t-shirts and canvas prints and just anything you can think of. And then Etsy is also focusing on gift items now more than anything. So if you sell something like fine art, like paintings back there, those really aren't gift items. And so Etsy won't give preference to that in search. 10 years ago, I used to be able to sell paintings all the time on Etsy, but now it's virtually impossible. I sell things like art prints and mugs and blankets with my art on them because that's what people want for gifts. Now, if you want your Etsy shop to succeed, you have to bring in traffic to your shop before Etsy is ever going to show your listings. And their ads platform that used to be so amazing really sucks. I mean, you can put hundreds of dollars a month in there and only get a couple hundred dollars a month in sales. What I've been doing when I tried ads and my experiments in the last two or three years have been basically the money that I put in is about the money that I get out. And so I'm lucky if I break even on the ads. Sure, I'm generating sales on their platform, but I'm not really turning a profit. And what I've heard is lots of other Etsy sellers are experiencing a very similar thing. And so the only way to really succeed now is to bring in people from social media and you can use their share and save links, which gives you a little bit less Etsy fees to pay if someone purchases, let's say, off of seeing your link that you post on Facebook. So it will help you save a little money to use the share and save links. But the important point here is that the Etsy algorithm requires you to bring sales into your Etsy shop to get things going and to keep things going. So if you bring in a bunch of sales from Facebook or Instagram, and then all of a sudden Etsy Etsy shows your listings in their search results more because they will. But if you don't continue to make sales on the Etsy platform from where they showed your listings in search, then you won't stay there. And so you'll have to continually bring in 
traffic and bring in sales from your social media to keep your listings up there to where you need them to be so people can find them in search because it's so competitive now. And this is why you can have really amazing artwork listed on Etsy for sale and not get a single sale because Etsy probably isn't even showing your listings to anyone unless you are bringing in sales on your own from social media for a while prior to them showing your listings on the platform. So with all this in mind, I bet you're thinking like Etsy and art fairs, they both sound like awful ideas for artists, you know, awful ways to make money. But I would like to emphasize here that art fairs are actually really, really good. I make in one weekend at an art fair what I make in an entire year of selling on Etsy. And so it can be really lucrative to sell at art fairs. Usually I make anywhere from five to $8,000 in one weekend. The other awesome thing is, is that you don't have to have super amazing work to make sales at art fairs. I've seen lots of people with very mid-level, even mediocre artwork do really well in sales. And it's because they had a great personality and they were a good salesperson because part of selling at an art fair is your interaction with the customer. So if you are an outgoing person that has a great sales kind of personality where you can really talk to people about your work and get them to want to purchase it, your artwork doesn't have to be that great. You can just be there, show up, talk to people and make some sales. Whereas on Etsy, not only does your artwork have to be good because there is a lot of competition, but you have to do all of these other things to make it happen. And you have to hope that the algorithm is going to favor you. So if I was a beginner artist, just starting out trying to figure out whether I should sell my work on Etsy or whether I should focus on selling my work at art fairs, I would go the art fair route in a minute. I wouldn't even think twice because the money is easier and better. And that's really what it boils down to. I mean, if you have to invest some money in your business, I think that's an okay kind of give and take there, right? You're investing some money, but you're getting a way better payout. With Etsy, you're investing a little bit of money and a lot of time uploading all your products and everything, and oftentimes getting nothing back out of it. And so these are the things to think about. Next, if you'd like to save money on setting up your art fair booth, watch this video. It'll show you exactly how to do that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.